Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my first YouTube channel, um, YouTube video, I should say. I have a jewelry unboxing I'm going to do here. Um, my first one is, first of all, my the name of my channel is Everything Shiny 775. Um, I am from Reno, Nevada, hence the 775. Um, my name is Veronica Goodman. I've been doing jewelry for about, oh, I want to say 12 years, just something like that. Anyway, it's something I really enjoy doing. Um, I do sell on Etsy, on Poshmark, eBay, sometimes on Macari, not always, but um, I'm not on Macari right now. Um, but anyways, I love these jewelry unboxings, and that's kind of what I was thinking I was going to start um, with my videos, start doing some unboxings, and then there'll be other content also. So sit back and hope you enjoy. If there's anything anybody is interested in, um, just leave a comment, and when I go back, um, after I post the video, when I go back, I'll... Uh, try and contact you and see what we can work out. Anyway, um, this is my first, a first lot. Um, it was in a bag, but I dropped the bag off of my table and it busted open. And so there goes the bag. So let's go ahead and dig in. Let's, let's see what good, um, good items we can find. So let me put that to the side. I hope everybody could hear me okay. Oh, let's see. Let's start with this guy. Oh, she's pretty. It's kind of got like an Indian vibe to it. It's really colorful. It looks like it's got some teal colored rhinestones and some black. Um, there's some red garnet looking type. Um, this is probably all rhinestone glass. Um, it is a cuff cuff band in gold tone. Oh, that fits me nice. Hmm. One bad thing about being a jewelry lover also is um, I like to keep a lot of stuff. So I'm going to try and not do that. Because <laughs> you should see my jewelry box. It's just overflowing. And I don't ever go anywhere, so I have nowhere to wear it. So anyway, um, this one's got uh, two sizes, and it looks like it's all it's like a five piece. So anyways, it could use a good cleaning. Some of these stones are a little dull, but very pretty, and it doesn't look like there's anything missing. So that's our first item. Here's a second one, this cute little ring. Let's see if there's any signatures inside. And you know what? I forgot my loop. I forgot to grab my loop, so I won't be able to see anything past what I can normally see, but there's a really nice rhinestone in there, little hot pink ones um, with the enamel. The enamel is like an off-white creamy color, and it is gold tone. This seems to be in pretty good shape. So that's kind of a fun, nice fun watch. Uh, watch. Ring. <laughs> I'm starting off real good. So anyways, it's kind of a dome shape too. So that's kind of fun. Let's, let's do another one. This one's kind of fun. It's a cuff. It's a um, clank bracelet, and it looks like there's a little bit of scratching or wear on it, but it's it's still in really nice condition, um, gold tone, and then it's got these little enamel black spots, kind of gives it like a little animal print or, I don't know, it's just something fun. Looks like it's from the 80s. Okay, we've got another fashion ring. Ooh, this one's a big one. And it's got that um, sizer inside of it. So it could fit a bigger or smaller size. I don't think it's an adjustable. 
I don't think you can adjust it. It either fits you or it doesn't. Um, it's probably a one size fits most. I wear a size seven, actually a seven and a half on this hand. So it'll fit at least that. Um, but yeah, it's black uh, gunmetal finish. And I don't see that any of the stones are missing. And that big rhinestone in the middle, it's probably just glass. It might even be plastic. But anyway, that's kind of a fun little um, fashion ring, you know, to wear out on a fun night. This is, I guess, a bunch of rings. That's kind of nice. Um, here's another one. This is just an adjustable. So this could fit up to um, a certain amount of sizes. You know what? I forgot I have my mandrel here. So let me give you the size of this one. This one is gonna be a size six for that dome ring. So that's kind of a good average size, kind of small, but good size. Uh, this one is also a size six. But like I said, it could go up a little higher because I do not wear a six. So, and that one did fit my, my hand. This one is an acrylic, it feels like. So it's reading a size seven. So um, that's kind of fun. Just, uh, these were big in the 90s, in the 2000s. Um, just a fun little, looks like a dahlia ring. Um, copper, copper finish backing. It is glued on, so just a kind of fun, you know, little ring. I can't tell, like that one has a little bit of the tip missing. So, um, you know, but you can't really tell. It's still in good shape. So there's that one. Let's see what else we've got. Looks like there's a bunch of bracelets here. They are stretch cord. One, two, three. There's four and three the same size. And then there's a another larger one. These are probably four millimeter. It's probably a six millimeter. There are dangles on them, a little leaf. That one's a little doggy paw and a little gold tone heart with gold tone beads to accent them. And uh, those charms are only on the smaller ones. It's There's not a charm on this bigger one. So anyway, those are kind of fun. Um, one size fits most, it's gonna be. And again, they're stretched, so they're easy to put on as I struggle putting it on. Um, so those are kind of fun. Just wear them all together or you can wear them separately. Good gift. Keep one for yourself. Give one to daughters or friends. Now this big thing, I am not sure what it is. I'm not sure if it's a pendant or if it was something. I don't see that it was a brooch. Um, it does have, it does have something there where a bail could go or a, a jump ring could go there. So it can make it a, a pendant. And that's what I'm assuming it is. It's very thin, um, as you can see. It's probably brass, um, brass tone at least. It could be, you know, it's a soft metal. I could feel it kind of easy to bend a little bit so we won't do that we'll just keep it safe and um, there are a couple of little wear spots on it but still in excellent condition that little um spot there it looks like it's thinning so if you were to put a jump ring there um, it looks a little weak there so i would actually do something with either this bottom hole or even possibly the two holes right next to it. Um, I probably wouldn't use that. And as a matter of fact, since this is a soft metal, you could probably take a wire cutter and just 
snip that whole piece off and then file it so it's it's not sharp and then um go from there because it's kind of fun kind of um i don't know what kind of era that is <laughs> it is a knight um with his armor on so he's got a shield and a sword or some kind of um i don't know some kind of weapon but anyways if you're into that stuff kind of renaissance i think that's kind of fun Okay, let's get this big one out of the way because it is um, right there. Lots. So far, everything's coming out real easy, so I shouldn't say that out loud because next thing you know, it's going to be all tangled up. Um, it's got a cute little, nice little clasp, as you can see. It's got a um, J-hook clasp gold tone. It's got little, they feel like um, some type of wooden bead. These were really popular in the 70s. Um, I don't think this one is that old, but it's kind of fun design. Um, yeah, they're all wood beads. And then it's got this wooden hand-painted um, pendant with the two pandas. So if you're in there eating bamboo, how cute. So if you're into pandas um, and big chunky necklaces, this one's for you. It is a royal blue and a teal green with little black beads. So um, that's those are the colors with an off-white um, bead to accent that one too. That would be really cute with a pair of jeans or like a summer dress um, if you're going on vacation or something or just going to the grocery store. You don't have to be going to the go on vacation for that one. Okay, so this is a little, it looks like a belly brooch. Oh, it's a pretty one too. It's really iridescent. Um, it's a little bunny. It's got a weird mouth. Huh. I almost feel like it needs a rhinestone or something in its eye, too, because it looks a little... I don't know. It, it might be missing a rhinestone. But the gold is in nice condition. Um, the pearl is not scratched or damaged. So that one's really pretty. Um, let's, oh, it's signed. It is from the Roman Company. So this is an old one. This is a good one. Um, the pen does work. It's in nice working order. It holds in tight. And as you can see there, I don't know if I can focus in on that. Um, it does say Roman. So that one is signed. I'm going to have to look this up and see if there is a rhinestone that usually goes in the eye um, because I think that would just be cuter if it did have that rhinestone. So I'll look that up. If it does have a rhinestone, um, that's a pretty easy fix. I can just add a rhinestone. So there's that one. Let's see what these guys are. It's nice that some of these things are bagged up. Ooh, are they earrings? Oh, they're um, shoe clips. You see that? They could use a good cleaning. Um, they're plastic, but these are really nice. It says patent pending on it. S.G. Dior. Huh, these are really nice. I'll have to look those up. S.G. Dior. D apostrophe O-R is what they're saying. So I'm not sure exactly what that is, but those are really pretty. I'm trying to see what they are. If they're, it just looks like crystal. 
Um, but anyways, those are pretty. Those would be nice on a pair of shoes. They look brand new. They look like they haven't been used. They could just use a good cleaning. But anyways, we'll do some more research on those and find out what those are. Those ones might, might wind up in my Etsy shop since they're, I don't know if they're vintage, but they look vintage. So we will look into those. Here's a fun silver tone zebra striped bracelet. It's leather. The stuff is leather. The zebra print is leather and then silver tone inside. Just a nice little bangle. Uh, it's kind of fun. Yeah. Okay, what do we got here? Here's an 80s enamel brooch. It's a clanker. Um, it's got really good pull on it too. There is some wear. You can see the copper coming through um, on the back end. The front, the top looks good. I can't tell if that's in a, re a reflection of... No, it looks like there's a little tiny bit of the copper coming through also. But the rhinestones are all there. Um, and that's just kind of a fun... My lighting is really bad today, so I apologize for that. As I'm going through all this stuff, you know, I'm going to get my setup a little bit nicer looking. And so get rid of this green. It's the only thing I had down here today. And um, I really like this green, but it's a little bright and it's kind of throwing off my color. So anyway. This enamel one is kind of fun. I will probably put this in a crafting lot since it has a little bit of wear and uh, there's some wear on the back. It is silver tone. Okay, so let's see. We have got a plastic. They look, yeah, this is really light. So these are probably gonna be plastic. Um, silver tone chain. are kind of fun these little bubble necklaces it's a triple triple layer one there we go let me get that straightened out for you there we go it is a um you know just a fun little necklace these are good for um you know the office or something where you could wear it all day because it's light it's lightweight and uh it's not going to be heavy on your neck or anything, but still gives you a little spot of color. Um, little acrylic beads. These ones are glass, and then you got some little silver tone um, balls here. So that one's kind of fun. That one will probably go in my eBay store. Um, there's some uh, fashion necklaces that I keep in my eBay store that are kind of just like that. They're just fashion necklaces. That's all they are. And I have them for fairly inexpensive. So yeah, it's kind of fun. Go check that out. Okay. We got us a dangle charm, silver tone. It's got a little key flower, a little heart, a bigger heart with rhinestone and just a silver chain. Um, so that one's kind of pretty. That one is pretty. Uh, just fun, again, just another fun fashion necklace. Okay, we've got some crazy long earrings. Look at those, those are kind of fun. Here's the other one. They were together. Let's see if there's any pieces missing. It doesn't look like it. Looks like they're both okay. That's silver tone. It's got the ear hook, the wire hook, and uh, those are fun for for any occasion. I'm kind of off on my camera angle too. I have to fix that. Okay, here's a rhinestone bangle bracelet. Uh, that one's kind of seen better days. It could just need a cleaning up. The rhinestones are all there. Um, that's kind of fun to 
it's kind of big. So if you've got a larger wrist, um, that one's got your name all over it. Uh, here's another brass bangle with um, the ball chain over it. But this one's kind of fun because I, I like the brass color. A lot of people don't like it, but they all want silver or the gold or um, the black finishes are becoming really popular now too, but I kind of like this brass color. So there's that one. Let's see what we got here. Oh, here's a vintage one. I could tell just by looking at it. Or made to look vintage. That is, it says, I.L. Yang. Hmm. I.L. Yang. It's got a huge lobster claw. Maybe it's just made to look vintage, or it might be. Anyways, gold tone. Just a bunch of chain and just stuff together. Why is it? Why is there more on this side? Okay, let me figure this out. Okay, this is how it goes. So it looks like this, the clasp is more to the side than directly in the back, the way you wear this necklace. So there we go. Kind of fun. It is in good good condition. Um, gold tone. Could probably use a good cleaning. My hands are already feeling a little blah. It gets that gross feel to it. Um, so I'll be sure and not stick anything in my mouth while I'm touching these. <laughs> Here's another one of those Indian bracelets. Um, this is a crisscross one. That's kind of fun. They are thin enough to where they are stretchy, so they are going to fit probably most sizes. It's probably going to be a mo one size fits most. Um, so those are so pretty. I really like the colors of all those stones. This one has more, it's still got the ruby color, the teal, the black. It's got uh, some clear and it's got some peachy color ones, some peach. So still that gold, looks almost rose gold. I don't think it is though, I think it's just gold tone. But anyways, there's that one that matches that other one. Not exactly, but you know, it's close. Here's a little acrylic, an older acrylic one. Um, the stretch is still good. No, I don't like that. I would, um, let's just put that in a crafting lot and uh, we can do something with those beads. Here is an earring, a single earring. Just kind of fun. Oh, I thought this was gonna be a necklace. It's an earring. Ooh, that's a big one. That's a, let's see if I can see the other one. Oh, look it, I got a pair. Here it is. So here's some crazy earrings. Oh gosh, those are big. Let me, let me see how big those are. Round, nine inches. It's probably supposed to be round, so nine by, nine by 10. It's a little longer on the, on the other side. So those are huge. Yeah, I don't know how, well, somebody's gonna love those. Okay, we've got us a purple, we've got a mess here. We've got a purple enamel. So when you're going through these things, sometimes it's easier just to open up the clasps. And then they usually just come right out. Um, I gotta tell you, 
I'm not a big fan of fabric um, chains, fabric uh, cords. Um, so I would probably um, replace this with a silver chain, even a, a silver, yeah, because this is silver tone. So I would probably replace that with a silver tone, just chain, just make it simple. Um, but that one's really pretty. Silver tone, doesn't look like any of the stones are missing enamel. Uh, that one's really pretty actually. It looks brand new. Um, hardly any wear to it. So there's that one. That one will probably get posted on my eBay store. Uh, let's see what we got here. What are you? Since you came out first. This is just a little, oh, this is kind of short. Whatever this is, if it's a necklace, it's a necklace. Um, it's got a little heart. It is not a heart. Why did I say a heart? It's a teardrop faux pearl. It looks glass. Um, yeah, it's, it's seen better days that teardrop um, and this it's got some wear on it um, silver tone probably but um, we're gonna put that in a crafting lot somebody could clean up that pearl if they wanted to and do something with it okay here's here's my copper color again these copper crystal beads are pretty with the silver tone that's a nice fun necklace this would be a good one for layering so if you were to put another silver maybe a silver um like an omega or something with that that would be pretty or some uh gemstone necklace with a uh, similar color that would be pretty so there's a nice little fashion necklace what are you i've actually had this necklace before inlay it's plastic um, yeah it's kind of fun and it's got these really tiny little shells oh those are so pretty with the little seed beads in between it is a silver tone lobster clasp there's no markings there so you can tell that's a silver tone but um there's that necklace that is so pretty Kind of fun. Oh, I like her. Um, I don't see any signatures or anything like that. So, Mother of Pearl, Abalone. And it does look like it's, it's real pearl on a plastic base. Um, you can see it on the side. So, anyway, that's kind of fun. I like that one. Okay, here is, we got a vintage here. Probably not actually vintage because it's got a lobster claw. Now that could have been replaced, but I don't think it was. It looks kind of the same color as the material, but this might be um, something modern, made to look old, is what I'm thinking it is. But little dangles. I'm not sure if any of them are missing. I'll have to go through it on a closer. They look pretty good. So, anyway, that one's kind of fun. Let's see, we've got some earrings. I'll put aside all the single earrings and then we'll try and get them all matched up. That one's kind of pretty. I don't normally like long earrings so you know i'm not i'm not a big earring girl but i know a lot of you love the big earrings so i try and find them for you guys and 
make them look as good as possible when I do find them. Make sure they're cleaned up for you and looking their best. Um, so here's another pretty little silver tone. This one kind of looks like a pewter, like a pewter finish, uh, a faux probably, but still. Um, we'll hold that one aside and make sure that, see if we can find the match. Um, this one looks like little seed beads, literal seed beads. So, anyway, we'll see those, see if we can find those. Here is a gold tone little half hoop. It has got a little pave smiley face. I see a smiley face in there. Yeah, he's kind of cute with the little faux pearl. Oh, he's cute. I like that one. So let's see if we can find him. Um, here's a little, another earring, um, a faux pearl. Yeah, that one looks like she's pretty good condition too. She's, I was expecting it to be all scratched up or or chipped or something, but it's not. And then it's got the wire wrap with the um, baby pearls in them. Probably all faux, not, not real pearls, but we'll see if we can find that one. Here is a brooch. That one's kind of fun. Very 80s. Very, very gold. <laughs> it's really shiny uh, gold tone. Oh. Let's see if that's gonna go in. It is. So that is gonna hold. So that's a good, that's a really good, um, really fun brooch. Here is that black metal I was talking about that's becoming really popular. The gun metal uh, finish on on some rings. And um, this has got a black, black glass, probably rhinestone with two smaller rhinestones. Um, this ring is gonna be an eight and three quarters, so almost a size nine, but yeah, that's a kind of a fun one. Hey, that kind of fits me right there. Uh, it's not my favorite though, so um, we will let somebody have that. Let somebody buy that. Here's a pretty one. Ooh, these are kind of, giving me a marcasite vibe. It is not marcasite, but kind of the same vibe. It's kind of pretty. Um, black, and then these look like almost a hematite color. So those are really pretty. It looks like that one, that stone, wants to fall out, if you could see that. I don't know if you could see that. So. Um, what I'll do with that one, if I find the pair, if I don't, then it'll just go in a craft lot. But if I do find this one, I will pull that stone out and then um, try. I will glue it back in so that it keeps it nice and, nice and safe so it doesn't fall out in the future. Uh, let me, here's a bag. I'm going to stick that one in there so that we don't lose that stone. And of course, it all hinges on if I find the pair. If I don't, then I won't waste my time. Here's a little snowflake. Uh, oh, it comes up and up on top. A snowflake bracelet. Let's see. Yeah, that fits kind of nicely. It's kind of a nice little silver tone bracelet. It's got, I'm not sure what that is. If you can see that little orange spot there. I'm not sure if it's, it is. It looks like it's the, the color of the glue. So that's a manufacturing something. But anyway, um, yeah. We'll put that in a craft lot. We'll let somebody deal with that one. Okay. Oh, you guys. 
I think this is amber. And I don't have my black light right now. But yep, these are definitely amber beads. Oh my goodness. These are amazing. Now, amber isn't usually cold because it's not a stone. It's, it's like a resin, it's like a plastic. So it feels, um, it should feel, it shouldn't feel cold if it's real amber. Um, but these are gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I am so excited about these. There's like a honey color. There's all the cognac, most of them are cognac color. Um, oh, wow. You know what? I think I'm gonna personally keep these and then I also make jewelry. And so I am gonna do some pretty fascinating earrings with these. It looks like it was a stretch bracelet. And thank goodness it didn't break because they're all still there. They're all still together. But I will definitely test those. Um, you can get some, oh, what is that cream stuff that you rub it on there and it, if it smell, if it comes out yellow on your Q-tip, then um, it's real. If it, if you heat it up, if you rub it, you have to rub it for a long time though and it has to get, um, heated basically and if it smells like formaldehyde then um, it's genuine and you can also test it with a black light they will glow in the dark so I do not have my black light with me right now so um, we will find those out and I'll let you know maybe in another video if those are real but I'm pretty sure they are so that's an excellent find Ooh, I really like those. I'm excited about those. What do we got here? Ooh, a little pendant. This one's amber too. You see that? Oh, she's pretty. Oh, she's really pretty. I like her. Probably silver. It's all tarnished. Let's see. I don't see any markings inside the bale. There's none, but I can pretty much guarantee you that that's probably genuine amber and sterling. Um, again, I will test that and I will, um, I just got some of my 18 karat gold um, acid, so I will be testing that for silver but that makes sense that it's in the same bag as those other amber beads okay so this one's in that bag also so I wonder if they're saying that these guys are amber and they might be um, we've got some gemstones here we've got some tiger's eye Probably some black onyx, some hematite, some type of jasper. Anyway, this is a really pretty necklace. Ooh, it's got a little clasp. Korea. So this is a handmade necklace. You can tell by the mechanics. Um, it's kind of not made very well. I don't mean to be rude, but you know, this would probably um, need to be restrung because it won't, that clasp isn't going to last very much longer. Um, oh, there's little birds. Oh, those are cute. Oh, down here too. They're like a little stone bird. So, you know what? These beads are nice enough and. Um, they're they're nice enough quality that I will probably restring these and uh, put a new clasp on those and uh, sell that on my Etsy. So that's a good find. I'm really happy with that little bag. 
Okay, so let's see. What we've got here. Okay, here's another little single ring. Earring. Oh my gosh. I did not just call that a ring. Um, it's brushed gold tone. So we'll put that aside. Make sure we have the other one. See if we have the other one. I do have this pair to this one. So you can see there, they're little seed beads. Literal seed beads. I'm not sure what kind of seeds, but kind of fun with a little string. So there's the pair there. This thing, oh my gosh, she's heavy. Looks like it's a belt buckle. Uh, the red stone is a little scratched up. I don't see any markings. I might do a Google Lens on that, Google Lens search, and uh, if nothing comes up on that one, then I might just stick that in a craft lot and let somebody have fun creating something with that. Okay, um, this one's a pretty little, that is cold to the touch. It is some type of gemstone. These are just little crystals. That's a pretty little um, dangle earring. We'll see if we get the pair to that. These ones are cute. Um, again, they look handmade. But um, we'll see if we can find the pair. Here's another little earring, gold tone. It's kind of fun. Try and find the pair. Uh, oh, I think I had this one. We had the pair to this one. Yeah, we do. So there's that pair. Woohoo! I like earring pairs. I one time got a bag that I paid good money for. I mean, I think we were like $75. Maybe even a little bit more on, on an advertised bag. Um, of earrings is what she wrote on her listing and uh, I won the auction and I got it and uh, they were all single earrings not one pair and so yeah I was pretty upset with that so anyway uh, here's the pair I really like these these are pretty these are pretty because they will go with anything that color. Oh, those are great in fall, for fall. Okay, here's a little, just a little gold square. We'll see if we can find that one. This one's kind of fun. Kind of pretty. Ooh, little spring clasp, which makes it a little older. Um, probably from the 80s. Might be, maybe 90s. But that's kind of a fun little necklace. It's got some black little, these ones actually feel plastic. And then faux pearls, but the gold tone. It's really pretty though. Really pretty fashion necklace. We'll go ahead and put that one there. Okay, so here's a bunch of bangles. Oh, didn't we have this one? We had this one. Another one. I was telling you how I like this, this brass color. This copper color. I guess it's not copper. I guess it's brass. This one's got a little wear on it. More wear. But you know what? I'm I'm thinking it might be part of the patina of this one. Because it looks kind of uniform. Um, anyway. It looks like it came unglued a little bit. So, eh, this one we'll put in a craft lot. Here is, what are you? Oh my goodness, look at this. My sister would like that. I, as a matter of fact, I think, I think she sold her little trailer, so maybe not anymore. Um, but it's a little camper with a little hitch. I don't know what it is. Are these one of those stem glass? 
um, goes on a wine glass. I'm not sure, but um, these are just plastic little beads, so I'll probably wind up taking off that charm, and uh, that'll be fun. I like that one. Okay, this is just a gold copper tone, brass tone, I should say, necklace. It is missing two little rhinestones there, if you can see. Otherwise, that would be pretty cute. Um, but uh, we'll put that in the craft lot. Somebody can have that. Some gold. These ones are gold tone. Looks like to be in pretty good shape. Just a nice little bangle. Here's that copper. Um, oh, look it. Came apart. A little bit broken but you know what it's still good it's still wearable so I might keep this one with that other one uh, no I'm gonna put that in the craft lot sorry guys uh, let's see we've got a set of three unless there's more in there I'll have to look but of wavy twisted bangles, silver tone, kind of fun. Now, this one, ooh, it'd be nice if it was Bakelite. It's kind of a little dirty and the clippy might be too modern for Bakelite, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure how all that works, so I'll have to look that up. It says classic hardware. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a signature on it. Classic hardware. Um, this this uh, the metal part of this is a little rusty, so I would have to take a look at that. Um, it is plastic. It might just be a little lucite wannabe bakelite. So we will do more research on that and see what we can find. Uh, these are gorgeous. Green is my favorite color. I absolutely love green. And so uh, I, if we find the other one, I think these are gonna be mine. Sorry guys, I have to. Those are gorgeous. <laughs> Here's a bangle painted, hand painted uh, bangle bracelet. It's kind of pretty. Ooh, it's got yellow on the inside. Big fat guy. Let's see. What do you measure? You measure almost two inches wide. Let's see from the inside. Oops, wrong side. Actually one and a half inches wide on the smooth side. It was two inches because of the arch. Um, but anyway, this is so pretty. So that's probably gonna be an eight inch. Um, oh, it's green. I like my green. Oh, I won't wear that. I don't go anywhere fancy enough to wear stuff like that so um, we're gonna have to pass on that one we'll let somebody else enjoy that here is some gold tone well let's see if they're gold tone those are really nice actually let's see if there's any stamps on them uh, the post has a little bit of discoloration there so that kind of tells me that they are not real gold um, but they are very nice condition they, it looks really pretty so hopefully I can find the partner to that here is a kind of fun this again is giving me that Indian vibe jewelry so this is probably went in with these guys Ooh. That's pretty. 
So just for fun, you know, it's nothing, it's nothing real. It's, um, you know, probably just a little fashion necklace. You could see that the stone is plastic and glued on. It's got the silver back, as you can see. So, um, yeah, kind of fun. Matches those um, bracelets, so I think I'll just keep them with that. Uh, let's see. We have got a scarf. A scarf clip here. Really pretty one. I think I've actually had this one before. Um, but yeah, she's got some lilies there. She's really pretty. And it's kind of like a gold tone. She's plastic. She's not, um, you know anything really high quality, but she is pretty. So this is probably uh, faux mother of pearl, but that is pretty, just very delicate, very dainty. Here's a little plastic earring. We'll see if we can find the pair. Another earring. We'll see if we can find the pair to that. Just little crystal um, hoop earrings. We got a pile going over here of single earrings. I'm looking for the green one. I want that green one. Even though it's clip on, I probably. Oh, it's clip on. Clip ons hurt my ears. Maybe there's a way I can change it to posts. If there is, if there's a way, I will find it. Because those are cool. Okay, here's just a little um, illusion necklace, kind of. It's kind of not an illusion necklace. It's kind of a stationary necklace, more like it, because of the chain. Um, the illusion necklaces usually have the clear, um, the clear string, so it's, you know, you don't see it. It's an illusion. It looks like there's a bunch of floating beads on your neck. Uh, but this this one has the dark chain and uh, you know just a cute little fashion necklace. Oh my God, what is this? It's a oh, it's an earring. <laughs> oh my gosh, you learn something new every day. You see something new. Okay, so is it marked? Oh no, it's not. I thought it was marked. Um. How the heck? So I guess this goes in the front of your ear and then this goes in the back with your, with your earlobe in between. And you've got a little bunny. It looks like he's carrying a carrot. Oh my gosh. That is hilarious. We'll see if we can find the other one. Speaking of bunny. This guy... Is adorable. He reminds me of a character that should be in the movie Hoodwinked. Be prepared. Remember that movie? It's so funny. Um, it is a brooch. Just a little. It looks like he is handmade. So he's really cute. I, I like him. He's a little bunny. Um, here's another earring. Here's some, looks like some 80s earrings that are coming. Oh, I think we have this one. We do. There's the pair. So, pair gold square. Uh, here's the pair here. Those are pretty. Those are really pretty, actually. They are gold post. Gold tone post. It's got the green, the taupe, and a peach. Those are gorgeous. Uh, let's see. If they can. Oh, here's here's this one. Just a little black. They're plastic, black gold tone oval. That's a good size too. That's a good size earring. That would be fun. I've been getting a lot of bracelets in this one. Here is an enamel, gold tone. Um, no signature. 
here is another dome ring. Ooh, I like you too. It's kind of a ivory enamel and then the gold tone stripe in a dome. Good shape, it's good, good condition. Let's see. We've got about six and three quarters. So she's pretty. Uh, let's see. Here is a little leaf brooch. Okay, that works very good. Keeps it in place. Is there a signature? It says, it says Taiwan. So that was made in Taiwan, just a cute little double leaf brooch. It's kind of pretty. Oh, let's see, here is another ring. Oh, this one looks a little creepy. It's kind of fun though. Um, if there is some wear on the gold tone, is this adjustable? It is. So it could fit any size basically um that is some type of stone but with the metal being so worn uh we will put that one in a craft lot let's see this is a cute little just a cute little brooch it's not anything too special but it is cute um, plastic, you can see, probably little plastic rhinestones, so there we go, there is another little ring, it's kind of fun, this is a tiny one, it's probably a size 5, yeah, Size five, five and a quarter. There is some wear on it. So, um, it's kind of pretty though. There's that one. Here is a little vintage earring. It's got a screw back. Let's see if we can find the pair to that one. Here is a fish earring. You know, I'm surprised how much fish jewelry I find in lots. I didn't know fish were so popular. People like fish. So, um, anyways, this one is actually, uh, it feels like some type of clay, ceramic, something like that. So they're probably handmade, probably hand painted. Uh, she's pretty. We'll see if we can find her her partner. Here's a pair. These are kind of fun. These are totally 80s. Oh my gosh. I think I actually had these in high school. I am not even lying. I think I did. Those are kind of fun. Very. And they are metal. Oh my gosh, look what I see here. A little fat owl. How adorable is he? Oh my god, he's so fat. I love him. I want to wear him. Oh, and look at his little feet. I don't know why I'm calling him a him. It, looks, it could be a little girl. Female. But those feet... She looks like she needs to sit down, take a break. She needs a nap. <laughs> I will definitely be putting her on a chain and uh, <laughs> putting her in one of my shops because she is adorable. Okay, here's another little trinket ring. This one. That. That's actually really pretty. It's got a spot in it. 
that is part of the stone probably. It's probably some malachite. You know what? It sounds like it might be plastic, so it might just be a little inexpensive ring. I'm not sure, but it sure is cute. I'll say it's a size seven. That's a fun one. Okay, this one is in really good shape. Sometimes you can get these things and they're really nasty and and they look horrible. This one looks like a really good quality one. It's got the shells, the chip shells, white, really clear white too. They're really nice. Um, this is actually a large you know what? I bet you it could be a unisex. It could be for a man or woman, because this is pretty big. Let me see what size this is. Let me do a flat. So, how are we going to do this? We're going to put you there. It's about a nine and a half. So this could be for a man or a woman. And actually, I've seen more men buy these and wear these than women do. So that's kind of fun. Men jewelry, men's jewelry. Okay, here's a little brooch, silver tone, green-eyed cat. There's my green. Only I don't like cats. I'm sorry. I know. I said it. I'm a dog person. I like dogs. Although she's really pretty. And she's got green eyes. So, well, okay. I'll give you that one. She's really pretty. Little brooch. Are you cat lovers? Here is a fun. Ooh, it's kind of loud. Fun little faux druzy with um, kind of nice little cage that it's in. It's um, a copper ring, just a fun little, fun little design. Yeah, let's see what size it is. It's starting out as a size seven, but it is adjustable. So that's kind of fun. Kadunk. Look at this one. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I am going to test this one. Thailand. I'm. I'm just. Wow. Could you imagine if that was real? I mean, it's not, but could you imagine? <gasps> oh, that would probably allow me a really good down payment on a house <laughs> if that were real. <laughs> uh, so we probably got a glass CZ Silver Tone Thailand. Thailand? Taiwan. No, Thailand ring. Um, I'm going to test it just for the fun of it. Um, but, oh my God. She is crazy big, crazy pretty. We will, that one's to be continued. Okay, here's a little pewter flower pot, uh, flower, not flower pot, it's a watering can, but it's pewter. Um, they look like little pansies, so that's kind of pretty. It's signed, Birds and Blooms, limited edition 2000. Oh, this is from 2000. This is when my daughter was born in 2000, so 
I don't need a brooch. It's it's really cute, and I would keep it for her. But she doesn't like gardening or anything like that, so we'll let that one go. Sorry, Logan. <laughs> okay, uh, here's a little very thin. What is this? I thought it was metal, but it feels plasticky earring. It's kind of pretty. It's really pretty. It almost feels like it's, it looks like it's a piece of fabric. And then they um, put like an, some type of, I don't know what it is. Anyways, it's a shell. It's a pretty little earring. We'll see if we can find the pair. Okay, here is another big 80s earring. Oh, I love these. <gasps> I love this. I hope we can find the pair. Okay. Um, here is a gold tone. Ha oh, wait a minute. We had this one, didn't we? Yeah, the smiley face. There you are. So he found his mate. They can live happily ever after until they get lost again. <gasps> you guys, look. They're really heavy. <laughs> they are gorgeous. Let's see. If I were to remove, <gasps> I think I could, you guys. I think I could remove this part of it and actually cut it right there. I do do jewelry repairs also and <laughs> I'm always fixing stuff, so this would be an easy fix. I could just cut it there. You file it so it's not sharp, so it doesn't cut my ear. And then, um, somehow, or I could cut it here and then attach the post to that flat surface there. <gasps> this is to be continued again, just like that crazy ring. I'm gonna fix these and I'm gonna wear those. I'll probably wear them a couple of times and then I'll sell them, but oh my God, I love them. Um, here's the black, oh, this is that one. Um, I put it in the bag so we don't lose that stone. But there's the pair. So excited. Good job. So those are worth fixing. We are going to be happy with that. Okay, this is, what is it? Oh, it's a little earring that got, that got, um, fell off its post. The post fell off of it. But it's really pretty. It's it's a uh, mother of pearl inlaid, just kind of mosaic. Oh, those are really pretty. That's too bad. Uh, that'll go on a craft pile. Oh, my hands are so dry. Ugh. Here is a little stretch stretch band fashion ring. Voila. That one's kind of pretty. Hmm. Are there any stones missing? Nope. And it's got good stretch to it. That's kind of a cute little ring. We could sell that one. Here's another ring. Wow, I had a lot of rings in this one. Um. Again, I think... This one we will put with this one. It's kind of that same feel, you know, that costumey fun stuff. Here is a handmade bracelet. 
beautiful foiled lamp work beads. Oh, these are gorgeous. I might want to, with a little toggle clasp, look at that, how cute that is. That might be sterling. Looks like sterling. Probably test that, but oh, that is beautiful. That was well made. Somebody did a good job on that. I like that. Okay. Here is. Leo, what are you doing? <sighs> I might have to let him out here in a minute. Um, okay, so here is a big bow ring. Oh my gosh, don't fool me. But it is so pretty. That is so cute. Silver tone. We are going to say it is a six and three. You know what? Six and three quarters. Yeah. Because this side is a little bit bigger than this side on me. So this side I wear a size seven. This side is closer to seven and a half. Um, but that one's fun. A fun ring. What is this? I don't know what you are. Is it a bangle? Oh, it is. Duh. <laughs> kind of fun little, uh, just an acrylic bracelet. Okay, here is a pretty, another pretty leaf brooch. Oh, I like leaf brooches. Okay, the pen works. Pen mechanism works really well. This it looks like a brushed gold tone. Very nice shape. Very nice condition. So, there's that one. Ah, here is Wow. These are these just fascinate me because if you've ever seen these made, they are weaved. They get these tiny little uh, crochet or knitting. What is it the with the hook? I think it's crochet. I don't know. But um, with silk thread. And they do these one by one. And they are amazing. I absolutely love this. That's going to go in my Etsy shop because that is beautiful and it doesn't look like there's any out of place. It's a till color, a royal blue and a like an iridescent white. Oh, it is gorgeous. I love it. Oh, here's your beads. That gets me. And they do have a little stretch to them because of the silk. And that fits me just right. Hmm. I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to sell it. Because that's why I'm here. <laughs> I have to keep telling myself that. Okay. Check out this cool brooch. <gasps> this is really cool. I've never seen something like this. It looks like it's got a little bent. A little bend in the, I don't know what this is, if it's like a wicker, if it's a rattan fabric, you know what, it is, it's like a basket weave something, I don't know, but that is very delicate, I like her, ooh, She's giving me 70s vibes. Ooh, I like that. Again, I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to sell her. Okay. Oh, here's another one. Oh my goodness. This one's also handmade. Look at that. Okay, so we've got some seed beads. We've got some Swarovski crystals. And then we've got some little Jasper, 
gemstones with the tiniest little toggle clasp. Oh my God, how adorable is that? I love her. Oh my gosh, she is really done well. Look at that. Those three stones there. I don't know if you could see that, but it's amazing. This is an amazing piece. It's really tiny. My big old fat neck wouldn't be able to fit in this, so even if I wanted to keep it, <laughs> it wouldn't fit me. Let's, let's just measure this. This is probably a 14. It looks really small. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say I have a fat neck. Insult myself. Okay, we got a seven and a quarter, so that is 14 and a half inches. That actually is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. That is a beautiful piece. Okay. So we are going to put it back in the bag because I do not want that to get messed up. Oof. I really like that. That might be my favorite piece so far. But we've still got a lot to get through, so. Oh my gosh, what are all of these? Okay. So it looks like, it looks like that's all of them for right now. Oh, here's another one. This one's kind of not the same. This one is, ugh, that one goes in a craft lot. That one's all worn out. Okay, so we have got silver tone, the emerald green. We've got the white iridescent, the blue iridescent, and a red ruby color. Uh, kind of fun. You know what I'm going to do with these? Because, um, you know, they're not in the best shape. You can see they got the little um, strings hanging out. That one does at least. Uh, I might give these to my nieces who love jewelry. And um, they are age nine. How old is Sammy? I think Sammy's seven and Gracie is four and Issa is nine. And so they're at that age where playing dress up and you know, playing with jewelry and stuff is just the funnest thing. So those are gonna go to my nieces. I'm gonna hold those for them. Ooh, these are nice pearls. They're really heavy. So they're probably glass because uh, I know they ain't real. That would be just too incredible. Okay, so they are having a little bit of a glue issue. If you could see that. Uh, I don't know if I can focus in on that. Anyway, they are gorgeous. They are so pretty. But you see the silk knotted there. They are individually knotted, which is a good quality necklace. Um, but the silk ribbon here, the silk knotting string, what am I trying to say? Good grief, is a little dirty. So I don't know how I would clean those. might do because I really like these pearls these are a good size this is probably an eight millimeter um, and they all look they're not chipped or anything like that um, these are beautiful look at the luster on them um, so I might just have to restring these and uh, re -knot them. Oh, that'll take me forever. Should I just sell them as is? 
be on the self and as is. Let's measure how long this is because, oh my gosh, they are pretty. You would definitely be able to, um, they are 23 and a half inches, which makes them 46 inches, 46, 47 inches, something like that. Anyway, um, so you would be able to double these and have a double strand wear them or you would wear them, you could wear them long. But a lot of people right now are into pearls and um, want to wear, want to wear them doubled. So that's, that's the look. These are really nice quality. Um, I'm going to, these are going to be to, con to be continued also. <coughs> Excuse me. I do not know if I'm going to take those apart yet. I'm sorry, I needed some water. <clears throat> My throat is drying up. Okay, so to be continued. Look at this wolf. You guys want to hear something funny? My daughter Logan um, was named my favorite show when I was pregnant with her actually longer than that, <coughs> was Law and Order. And so, um, Dick Wolf was the writer, producer, whatever, of Law and Order. So, I used to collect wolves um, because of that. <laughs> and I liked the show so much. My favorite character in there was Mike Logan. And so I named my daughter Logan. So she is Logan Goodman. <coughs> Excuse me. And so, yep, I named her after my TV show, Law and Order. Oh, I'm dying over here. <coughs> my throat keeps wanting to close up. So, um, yeah. Oh, well, anyways, this is a pendant. In my old days, I probably would have kept that, but <clears throat> you know what I'm going to do with that is I think my Sammy, my niece Samantha, loves animals, and I think I'm going to put a chain on that, put a little necklace on that for her, and give her that. <clears throat> okay, so here is a little artisan. That is some thick wire. That would have been hard to, hard to um, bend into shape. <laughs> Whenever I see stuff that is handmade, <clears throat> I always think of, you know, how how it was done and if I could do it. And so that's how I learned a lot of my jewelry skills is seeing how it's done and then just replicating it <clears throat> so um but this one that's a really thick wire so I don't, i'm not sure that i would have the strength to do that one but that is a cute little artisan handmade wire wrapped beaded bracelet cuff bracelet so <clears throat> one size fits most. Here is a chain. F-I. It's marked. Boy, you know what? I haven't found anything with a lot of markings on it. Usually, you know, there's 9 to 5 or, you know, Goldfield or or names. This This lot does not have a lot of markings so I mean it's fun stuff but you know it's gonna be this is gonna be a reasonable priced lot nice little chain necklace just for you know I like to keep the chains um, 
and then as I get pendants or you know something that I want to make uh, I have a chain so that's why I keep those chains uh, let's see okay so I'm just gonna do one or two more things you guys and then I'm gonna call it um, I will come back and do <clears throat> finish it up in a second video um, but ooh la la look at these gold are they real gold they look real gold these are definitely gonna have to be tested <clears throat> they are beautiful they are not marked um, so I am going to have to test those because they are the right color and they are men's cufflinks just a little gold button and uh, beautiful gorgeous wish you were here that's what those are okay let's end off let's end it on a fun note this is a fun necklace let's see what we got here I think this is actually an Avon um, I've had this necklace before and I've sold it before Avon yep so this one's pretty it's it's a movable one um, it seems to be in really nice condition silver tone and then we've got um, a really nice chain so yeah just a fun fashion necklace so I think out of everything let me just bring out my favorites obviously this necklace here um, this handmade necklace I really I'm excited about looking that one up seeing if um, that could be Bakelite maybe just a loose sight but in either way I really adore the fat little L with the feet and then um, my, my earrings, my clip-on earrings that I'm going to convert into posts and see what we're going to do with those. And this guy too. Oh, gorgeous. Beautiful. And, uh-oh, what did I do with that big old honking ring? This one. We're going to see what that one is. I don't think it's anything special, but we will see. So anyway, there's a little bit of what was in that first bag. So hopefully, um, hopefully we can get through the other part. I'm going to get a better setup, you guys. Here's a Noah's Ark bracelet that was just poking out. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Um, hopefully we can get through the other half of this in um, a shorter period of time because hello. I kind of went long, um, but again, I'm just practicing for this one. I know my lighting is off, so please forgive me for that. Um, and I am going to get better lighting. I'm going to get a better setup. We need better color cloth. And uh, yeah, for my first time though, you know, I just wanted to try it. Just see if I could do it and get out there and see what I could do. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, leave me a comment if you liked it. If there's anything you're interested in, um, I'm happy to contact you and um, we can make a deal. And then, uh, what else, what else? I will leave my links to my shop, um, shops in the description. And then uh, don't forget to give me, what, what do they do? You like it, you comment, and you follow. <laughs> it's all new to me, guys, so I'm learning. I'm learning. So anyways, hope you guys have a good day. Bye.